And welcome back everybody in sports tonight. The golf community on Grand Bahama will be afforded another opportunity to participate in a world-class tournament. Officials are preparing to host a major event later on. It's going to be for a pretty good reason. Let's go to Joan Davis' role for this one. A high point for executives of the Grand Bahama Sports Promotion Association, known for staging the highly successful Michael Sweet Bells Thompson Golf Classic. They're now preparing to host another major golf event. It's being called the Edward St. George Memorial Invitational Golf Tournament. Officials recently met with the Minister for Grand Bahama, the Honorable Dr. Michael Davel, at the Ministry's office to officially launch plans for the upcoming tournament. Two years ago, Fred Sturrup and Ambrose coordinated a highly successful golf tournament in honor of the great Michael Sweetbells Thompson. From that tournament, discussions took place. Uh, Mrs. St. George was contacted. And now we are about to make an announcement for the Grand Bahama Sports Promotion Association for the Edward St. George Memorial Invitational Golf Tournament scheduled for September the 23rd here in Grand Bahama at the Reef Golf Course. Minister Dava commended Sarah St. George, daughter of the late Edward St. George, for her support of the event. He noted that the event is designed to thrust the island of Grand Bahama into the global spotlight as a golf mecca. This golf tournament is a very exciting upcoming autumn event and it's a privilege to have it named after my father, Edward St. George. So I'm very grateful to Mr. Ambrose Guthrie and Mr. Fred Stirrup on behalf of all my family and everyone at the Grand Bahama Port Authority. This is uh, going to be uh, a well-planned event. The event itself will have representation not only from the island of Grand Bahama, but I'm certain that we will have golfers from uh, out of the capital as well uh, to be a part of this event. For ZNS Total Sports, I'm Joan Davis Roll. Uh, just to get you in shape this coming Saturday is the Mitchell Mitch Mortimer Golf Tournament is going to be played at Reef Golf Course in 9 a.m. Shotgun start proceeds for the Bahamas Golf Federation Junior Program and the US2 Golf Group. The Wamsa Commercial Basketball League season started last night, folks. And let me tell you, the Freeport Container Port Stackers defeated Polymers Pistons 46-42. Stafford Farrington had a 17-point game for those Stackers in Charles Bay with 10 points in the loss. They'll continue tomorrow. You've got the J team uh, taking on the Polymers. And then Club Fortuna is going to take on the Container Port. It all starts at 7 o'clock. Abaco Flag Football League Championship also played on the weekend. The Firebirds won the ladies a title with a 19-6 win over the Piranhas. Jenny Thompson, four receptions and two touchdown receptions as well. And Gina uh, Gino also had three receptions and a TD. Looks pretty good as far as the men. The bargain card Randall Pirates won. They defeated the Abaco Tigers 18-13. Basil Hall, also Malik Penn and Marino Aldrey, all with a TD reception. Quarterback D. Gibbs also had a good one as well. Three. And Edney uh, Bethel Jr. was receiving end of two but that's gain in a losing cause. Well, next year, folks, will be 60-year-old uh, sensation Arthur Eldon will begin competing his bodybuilding, and he's been uh, back at it again. You see, Eldon plans to compete in the Southern States Bodybuilding Competition in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, July 9th. Well, the longtime competitor says he will compete in uh, the over 60 and over 70, as well as the new over 50 C-class physique. Ellen says he's busy training uh, at home in his gym and he's hoping to really put in a good competition. I hope I will win at least one of the divisions. Um, I did one in November over there and I won the over 60 and the over 70. So I'm, I'm hoping at least place in the top three in both the divisions. Got into it and stuck, and the guys who came in with me and was there, you know, after me, they've been out of it a long time, gone. It's not an easy sport like no sports, and it's an expensive sport like all sports. Um, so you really have to be dedicated and want to do it. Also known as Country Bob, Arthur Ellen is uh, my cousin on my mother's side by four generations, all one family. <laughs> That's a look at sports tonight. <laughs>